In this video, we will talk about the best places to live in Nova Scotia. And the first in our list is Halifax. Halifax or the surrounding areas within Halifax such as uh, Bedford, Dartmouth, even just across the bridge is Dartmouth. And Halifax is the biggest city in Nova Scotia. It is also the most expensive place to live within Nova Scotia. If I compare Halifax with uh, Montreal or even Toronto as a major city, Halifax is more horizontal in growth rather than vertical. Toronto is very vertical in growth, meaning there are many high-rise buildings uh, in Toronto and pretty much the same in uh, Montreal, but Halifax is different as it grows vertically. And therefore, you won't see so much of high-rise buildings within the city. Halifax is surrounded by many big and beautiful parks. The Halifax Public Garden, Victoria Park, Point Pleasant Park, just to give you a few examples. I would say that Halifax is city enough for a person to get anything and everything he wanted, but it is also lush enough to be at peace with nature. If you live within the area of Halifax, you certainly can go from one place to another with the public transportation. Now, if you live outside of the city, then public transportation could be a burden. As a matter of fact, if you wanted to go any place that is an hour away from the city or even uh, an hour and a half away from the city, then you certainly have to have a car because public transportation Pretty much the same as New Brunswick is a little bit of a burden. Canada in general is not too well uh, connected when it comes to public transportation. As a matter of fact, there is no such existence of tram. If you are in Europe or in Germany, uh, Switzerland, in the Netherlands, these countries, the, the, the cities within these countries, they're all connected via train and anybody can travel from one country to another, from one city to another, just by the use of train but in canada and certainly in nova scotia this is a totally different story you have to have a car if you want to travel from one city to another halifax is also a university city as such you can expect there are so many clubs bars shops and malls that will keep you entertained and in being so you can also expect that uh, it can be expensive because uh, all these things are available within your doorstep now the problem of owning a car in halifax is the parking this is pretty much the same problem in any city that you will ever live in parking and space is always a problem and Halifax is not an exception when it comes to job and uh, salary uh, Halifax being the capital and a major city in Nova Scotia it tends to offer better pay to its workers as compared to the other two uh, places that we have in our list as a matter of fact Halifax has got better pay compared to any other cities within Nova Scotia but the uh, cost of living uh, in uh, Halifax is also more expensive than any other city within Nova Scotia, thereby this uh, factors balances itself out. By the way guys, in this channel I cover the Atlantic region, it's uh, how to live in Atlantic region, the lifestyle, jobs, and everything else in between. If you wonder how much it costs to live in Atlantic Canada, I did or I created a downloadable file which is absolutely free and you can download it from here. It is also uh, in the banner of my channel and with this file you will have an idea which is a comprehensive idea on how much it costs to live in the Atlantic region and Nova Scotia is one of them. Just across Halifax is a city called Dartmouth. Dartmouth, I would consider, is less uh, busy than Halifax. And if you ever uh, try to uh, uh, consider or think of uh, living in Dartmouth, I would say that this is a better option rather than living in Halifax itself. Halifax or Nova Scotia is a tech hub and uh, it is the headquarters of many tech uh, companies 
or even not tech companies but multinational companies and as such there are more job opportunities in Halifax than in the other two uh, places that we have in our list if I were to choose uh, another city to live in Atlantic Canada aside from Moncton Halifax or even Dartmouth and Bedford are certainly the uh, the best choices that I would say for myself the second best place to live in Nova Scotia is Truro Truro amongst these three um, uh, cities is the nearest to New Brunswick Truro is a small quaint little town I would say that it's almost like um, Fredericton which is the capital of New Brunswick and being a little town you can certainly expect that people are friendly approachable patient and helpful and uh, also as such uh, being a quaint little town um, you cannot expect so much uh, kinds of entertainment I mean there's the farmers market there is the uh, public library and some shops for food and uh, dining and that's about it and when it comes to jobs the kinds of jobs or the number of jobs available in Truro are not comparable to Halifax Halifax is a city and Truro is a quaint little town in Truro uh, mostly the jobs that you will find are uh, for a uh, caregiver uh, kinds of uh, homes and uh, the drug mart the uh, food and beverage industry there are professional jobs of course but they are not as much as uh, it is available in Halifax now if we compare rent in Truro versus Halifax Truro is certainly less expensive in Truro a one bedroom can cost between eight hundred and a thousand dollars and in uh, Halifax a one bedroom will cost between fifteen hundred and eighteen hundred dollars there's a huge difference uh, on that front and the third best place to live in Nova Scotia is Cape Breton Cape Breton is the most eastern part of Nova Scotia this is an island the capital of Cape Breton is Sydney Sydney is not too busy it's a it has this community feel there are things that you can do in Sydney there is a casino there are the shops as well there are many restaurants uh, that you can go to uh, and the, the, the place it has got a, a very calm peaceful feeling to it now I've been to Cape Breton three times already and I've been to the Cabot Trail Cabot Trail is one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen guys and I've, I've been to not less than 35 countries and I tell you Cabot Trail is absolutely beautiful so if you ever come to Canada or if you ever come to Atlantic Canada make it a point to visit Cabot Trail and visit Cabot Trail during the autumn season because it is absolutely spectacular one of the main reasons that I say Cape Breton is one of the best places to live in Nova Scotia is because of the beauty of this island the people are calm peaceful and friendly as well one thing that I noticed though uh, in Cape Breton is that it's a um, it is a very communal society wherein reciprocity is big that's why if uh, a neighbor or a local does a favor to his neighbor this neighbor feels obliged to do the same or probably not obliged but has this feeling of uh, doing the same to the neighbor and this kind of culture within Cape Breton creates the communal feeling to it and therefore they tend to gravitate and help each other if you are um, an, a person of international background or from a, a, a separate or a different community this might be something that you will notice if you try to live in uh, Cape Breton and this might cause you to to, to have a difficulty blending in the community but the beautiful thing is that Cape Breton is experiencing um, massive immigration as well there are many people from international borders who move to Cape Breton thereby opening uh, the community to different culture to different color to different thinking and this therefore is a promising scenario to immigrants when it comes to jobs the kinds of jobs and the number of jobs available in uh, Sydney uh, Cape Breton is not comparable 
to Halifax. Nevertheless, there are jobs available, much the same as Truro. These are the uh, food and beverage kinds of jobs. These are the jobs in the uh, Shoppers Drug Mart, the jobs in uh, Walmart. There are certain professional uh, kinds of job, but these are not so much as compared to Halifax. So uh, between Truro and Sydney, I can say that uh, Sydney would have more jobs but certainly Halifax amongst these uh, three places Halifax is the most active with so much job uh, so much entertainment but also the uh, lifestyle or the cost of living is much higher than compared to Truro and Sydney